Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now the very end of October of 2022 and as we get closer to other shows out there like the Ahsoka Tano series, Mando Season 3, and a whole lot more on the horizon, a lot of fans are also getting very excited for Star Wars Celebration next year that's really going to be a game changer because it's going to have by far the most announcements under Disney's wing in a single given year. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new universe between George, John, and Dave is that they are really focusing on Luke Skywalker and exactly how they're going to be able to utilize him in all of the upcoming Star Wars projects, both of course live action and animated, mostly live action though. And exactly, you know, where they, they're going to really bring the character, how they're going to really be able to regulate the character, and how exactly also they're going to be able to combine him with a Legends characters. Now that brings us to the next scenario. Now everything related to Disney Star Wars as a whole is that we already know that Bob Chapek, the CEO, is making sure that Favreau and Filoni do whatever they want to do. He's allowing them to do anything with no limits and anything that they can actually push forward with to regain the fans and convince the fans that Star Wars is back in action again. So moving past all of this, all right, this is where things begin to get very intense of what recently has been happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm to make some changes to one of the upcoming Star Wars projects that's going to feature Luke once again. Now, of course, with both Disney and Lucasfilm now getting ready to begin announcing their new projects next year, creators Favreau and Filoni are also getting ready to sign on for more projects being developed by Disney. Now, it's noted that currently Favreau, of course, is getting ready to do something big with the Star Wars franchise by recasting one of the fanfare characters in the Star Wars universe. Now, most recently, Favreau greenlit a plan to recast Luke Skywalker for future projects that are already in the pipeline. Now, it's noted that currently Favreau is setting up actor Sebastian Stan to join the role of Luke on a limited level for the fans. The overall plan by Favreau is to use Stan sparingly when there, of course, are going to be added in scenes needed, of course, and also authentic conversation sequences between Luke and other characters. This is said to be used for the series that's in the works called Star Wars Jedi Knight that will focus on Luke's stories and those that live around him. Now, let me just pause here for a second. Now, in the beginning, this is something that Favreau and Filoni were always looking forward to by getting Stan on board to play the role of Luke. That eventually fell apart a couple of weeks ago as we discussed, and now what's happening is Favreau and Filoni are finding ways they could benefit from Stan and using him in a different way than originally planned before everything went sour. So basically now what they're doing is that they're only going to be using him for action scenes and extremely close-up shots where he's conversing with other characters, if that makes sense. So, they are recasting Luke and having Sebastian Stan replace Hamill, but only to a limited degree. Now, this would be the second time that John and Dave did a quote-unquote fan cast and made it official. As you all know, Rosario Dawson was the fan's idea. John and Dave picked it up, made it actually happen. Same exact thing is happening here with Sebastian Stan. Maybe not to the degree that fans may have hoped, but Stan is stepping in for action scenes planned for the future, as well as moments where Luke will converse with very authentic characters. We're talking about live action characters more so. So, obviously, I think it's still great what they did in the Book of Boba Fett. Were there some flaws here and there? Very minor, in fact. They are going to still stick with the CG version of Luke. It's just that the extreme close-up conversation shots are going to involve Stan. Now, that brings us to the next thing here, is because, for those of you that don't know, Mark Hamill actually signed a pretty heavy project, or, you know, I, should, I guess you could say a very 
involved project that's going to involve a lot of scenarios taken from the comics. And those comics being a mixture of legends and canon that's going to be used for Star Wars Jedi Knight and new anthology series that's going to focus on Luke Skywalker's new generation of Jedi, Luke himself, Ben Solo, etc. It's basically going to have a lot of the characters that you see in the comic called The Rise of Kylo Ren and even some comics from Star Wars Legends. So there's a lot at play here, and there's a lot of things that John and Dave are trying to brew behind the scenes. Now that brings us to the next piece, is that Stan has been chosen to portray the role to replace actor Mark Hamill only in key scenes. Now initially, both Favreau and Filoni decided to cancel this idea of Stan getting cast. They had second thoughts and are now attaching him to Luke's new show that's in the early development phase. However, this time, Stan will be used only in the type of sequences mentioned beforehand. Action, pay, uh, action fast paced scenes and close up shots. Now, Luke is also set to get several new designs in the upcoming Jedi Knight show, where of course, each episode will take place during a different point in time for the franchise. Stan has been informed by John and Dave about this role as Luke once again. Now, the other thing that I think a lot of fans need to know about this is that Given that Luke is going to get several new designs in the new anthology show, because it's going to jump back and forth through time, by the way. This is interesting because we could very well be getting some of those fan favorite designs that you see in the Star Wars novels and the books and the covers of those books that showcase Luke. Luke went through a lot of different designs and a lot of costumes that he wore a lot of, um, you know, different designs in general by the artists. That's basically what Favreau and Filoni are going to pick up. And actually, surprisingly, Mandalorian Season 4 is set to give us a totally redesigned version of Luke. He's going to have new clothing, a new hairstyle, and everything. Because it's going to take place multiple years after Mando Season 3. And it seems more likely that they're going to pertain to that version of Luke where he's got that black robe and he's got the slicked back hair like in Star Wars Legends. They could very well be going that route because they want to show us the evolution of Luke. They want to focus on that. They want to show us different designs of him, different looks of the character appearance wise. And that, I think, is really going to keep the fans interested to see more of Luke, right? Remember when The Force Awakens didn't even come out? How, ma how many fans were so excited to see what does Luke look like? What does he sound like? You know, how does he talk? Basically, now we're going to be getting something like that, except design-wise. So, with that being said, everything ranging from what they're doing now at Stan to what they're doing with the Jedi Knight series, there's a lot at hand here. John and Dave are really trying to up the game. They're really trying to evolve Star Wars and bring it in the right direction. So, that brings us to, of course, where John and Dave are now where they also are working on over a dozen projects. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me, let me know what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.